Hey, hey, Mr. Hexmac, I think it's a lovely message sending out to the Hex and Pulse Chain community. You're saying, you know, the community's got a lot of con artists, snakes, grifters, fudsters, opportunists, and general all-round pieces of shit. They will do whatever they can to separate you from your coins. Let's spin the helicopter hat. Your message. I'm reading it out. And I would like to just show you what does everyone else see from the other camp? Because there's two sides. There's people in, there's people out. Okay, what do the insiders see? What do the outsiders see? Well, there's two sides. Because it's true, Hex community has been vampired a lot. But you know what? Every community has. Bitcoin has. Ethereum vampired Bitcoin. But then Ethereum made more value, right? And then I guess a lot of Ethereum people say, hey, Richard Hart has vampired Ethereum. That's what a lot of people say. A lot of people say that Richard Hart... His main goal was to get the Ethereum out of your hands and give it to himself. So that's their talking point, right? And then obviously now in Hex and Polshane community, the new talking point, he's, hey, Jake Sharp and Jack Levin, all these others, they're trying to get your Hex from you. So it's everyone does it to each other. So nothing's new. Everyone thinks they're a unique snowflake. They're not. But I think it's important. Let's have an honest conversation. Hex is down 98.4% after three years. Pulse Chain is down 20% below day one sack after three years. Pulse X is down 70% below day one sack. It's going to be three years in a few months, pretty much. Okay. So other people, what they're saying is, and go speak to them. What they'll say is they go, excuse me, the con artist is the person telling you to lock up your money for 15 years. Say it's a bear market hedge. Say that T-shares are scarce and say that this thing is a better Bitcoin. While maybe a lot of the people with big bags intend to dump in the bull market, but you can't because you're locked up long term. So that's what they would say. And both sides, they have merit. Everyone sees it from each, each, each other's perspective, right? Where do I stand? doesn't really matter where I stand. It's a game of buy low, sell high, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter what my opinion is. I've got no opinion. It is. It's a market, market. Market speaks. The market chooses. So for everyone else out there, I want you to know that's the game. All these things I just talked to you about, they were narratives. doesn't really matter, right? Narratives to get you to buy, to get you to sell, get you to hold or whatever. At the end of the day, all that matters is the purchasing power you retain. Because, I mean, you can, you can tell everybody all day, yes. We have a better system. Okay. 98.4% down after three years. Where's the, where's the store of value? Uh, you're earning yield. Okay. The yield is on a deflationary uh, purchasing power asset. Who cares about the yield? Yeah, but that's what people are saying. Okay, after three years. So where does everyone stand? doesn't really matter. All that matters is where the candles go from now. How high does Richard pump it? That's pretty much the next narrative. As you get to see, everyone, we're moving the next narratives. I don't know if, last year, the narrative was Ethereum is too expensive. Everybody's going to bridge over to Pulse Chain and we're going to pump up. Didn't play out. Not even close to playing out. Now there's 50 layer two chains. So Richard thought he had a smart idea of let's fork Ethereum. Well, guess what? There's like 50 other people also making other chains to do that as well. So competition is fierce in this game. So... It is important, though. Everyone just knows, yeah, everyone's out there to try to get your money. And, yeah, I mean, like, just be honest with yourself. Um, if someone was in charge of a coin and you bought it and it was down 98.4% after three years, what would you think? Just ask me, what do you think? I've got no opinion, but I'm just asking you, would you think, yeah, that was a great deal. It's been three years. Was That was a great deal. If I changed the logo, if I didn't make it Hex, if I made it Zen, if I called the token Zen, or if I called the token Titan X, if I called the token BitConnect, Luna, Olympus down, what would you say at 98.4% purchasing power destruction? Would you say, yeah, it can come back, just put it on log chart. Would you honestly say that? That's something to think about. Something to think about. Now, all these things, <clears throat> put them aside. It's all about buy low, sell high. That's it. I accumulate in the pressure. I think everyone else would think it's good for a discussion. And what we've seen, we've seen nothing yet now, friends. If Richard does do the, the God trade, of rotate Ethereum in as Ethereum pumps up later on. You better believe there's going to be a lot of people trying to take your money. 
because they didn't hold this whole weight. Okay, I, I'm gonna. I guarantee I will be making videos telling people, do not buy these other new high expensive trash, extremely high market cap valuations, because these people they didn't hold through the hard times. Now they want your pulse and your pulse section and your hex. They want all the stuff after they've gone up when they could have just held it with everybody else, but they didn't because they sold it off for worthlessness. So I think it's a a worthwhile discussion to have. Let's hope we have it one day. I look forward to that discussion because it kind of means that the prices have gone up instead of what we've seen for the past three years. Catch you soon.